All right, E-King fight news. You know, Max Kellerman has always been like a closet supporter of Rigondeaux, and his comments are so, um, like, legit. If, if you look at him talking about Rigondeaux a year ago, uh, it's a shame because nowadays HBO doesn't even want to mention him on the air uh, un unless he's in some controversial finish and and Jim Lampley's crying about disqualifications or some shit. But Max Kellerman uh, has always been this uh, sort of boxing uh, savant. And, like, just, just... He's always appreciated the pure boxer. That's what I'm getting at. And... The one thing that I sort of regret about having this Rigondeaux versus Lomachenko on ESPN, which is awesome, free TV for everyone to see. But you you look at the you look at the network. Okay, there's no Jim Lampley, great. No Harold Letterman, great. But we have Teddy Atlas, who fucking fucked up a pound for pound list a little while ago. Um, we're going to see it right here. And he fucking supposed to have, he's supposed to have fucking Guillermo Rigondeaux in his top five, right? He's supposed to have it. But according to Rigo, he changed, it was changed at the last minute. So that's Teddy Atlas. And we all know Errol Spence ain't no Cuban. So that was supposed to, you know, Guillermo Rigondeaux was supposed to be on this list. And it makes absolute sense. And this 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 makes absolute no sense. Nine and one is ranked over 32 and 0, 32 and 0. Anyways, anyways, not the point. The point is Max Kellerman. Listen to him talk about Rigondeau comparing him to the New England Patriots. And we're talking about the, the greatest Patriots uh that beat the, the Rams back in the day. Um but 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 let, let's hear him and what he has to say. Amazing offense, and the Patriots would kind of bore you to a win by a field goal or something, right? They needed another great team to show you how great they were. You hear that? Rigondeau needs Lomach. In, in a weird way, he needs a great fighter to show you how great Lomach, uh, uh, how great Rigondeau is. He needs elite competition, and that is the real shame because the elites at 122. And 126 have ducked him for for so long that Rigondeau had to go two divisions up to test himself. That's how sad the state of boxing is right now. They weren't going to show you that against mediocrity. And this is frequently the case with great defensive fighters or teams. They, they, against mediocrity, they can, they can look underwhelming um, because they're negating the other side's offense. What they need to show you how great they really are is a great team, a great opponent. Bernard Hopkins heading into the Trinidad fight, right? Uh, but against Trinidad, you saw, oh, okay, we get it. Then you are a great fighter. You know, we thought you were really good and everything, but against mediocre opponents, you look good. But now against a great opponent, you look great. And and, and I thought Kurgan Diaw looked great against Donaire. And I, I wonder how he looked against Chocolatito, as Roy Jones says. One guy's fighting at 12, one guy's fighting at 22. Gandhi said he could meet him at 18. The fact is, fight night, they both weigh about 126. They're about the same size. Um, a guy like Chuck Latino, a lot of people can roll their eyes, oh, he'd overwhelm Gandhi with his offense. Maybe. Let's see. Because that dude will fight you. Does he look great against Lomachenko, though? Lomachenko, he wants Lomachenko to come down. Look, Lomachenko won a lightweight gold medal in the Olympics and then move down to, to, you know, like, he's a naturally significantly bigger guy than Gregan Diaw. He's in his physical prime. Gregan Diaw's not. Um, and also, he might be better. I mean, that's what you're there to find out. Lomachenko's a beast. Uh, he is, you know, probably my favorite fighter to watch right now. Uh, and much more the kind of fighter that people like in the sense that he uses his athleticism, which is elite, and his skills, which are elite, just like Rigandiao has elite athleticism and skills, but he uses them much more entertainingly than, than Rigandiao. And so people like him more. And he also might be better. I mean, that's another fight.